Hi, I'm Jane King, and this is New to the Street in person back here at the NASDAQ market site in New York City. The show is all about public, private, and blockchain companies, how the CEOs, the founders, and the innovators bringing you lots of opportunities to consider. Here we go. Lahontan Gold is a Canadian mineral exploration company whose flagship property, the Santa Fe Mine in Nevada, has produced silver and gold in the past. And with me is Kimberly Ann, the founder, CEO, and president. So bringing us up to date, it was so great to see you at the mine last time we talked. That was so much fun. And you were from that project. So bring us up to date. What's going on? Yeah, it's, I always love going out to the project and talking to you from there. It's super fun. I think last time I was out there, I was at our new asset called West Santa Fe which uh, is going to become kind of a merger into our Santa Fe asset because um, it's technically only 15 kilometers away. It looks exactly like our Santa Fe project. And in the future, once we go back into production, um, it's going to be a satellite operation. So very exciting acquisition for the company. Um, we just finished our drilling over at Santa Fe proper. The team is analyzing all that data and now they're overplaying it with Santa Fe getting to know our new assets. So mm. it's really, um, nice time to be out there the weather's great it's a slower time in the market as holidays are coming so we can get a lot of on the ground work done during this time okay and then the news of the announcement the claim acquisition at santa fe so eight square kilometers of new claims so yeah explain what that means and how did you accomplish that yeah uh, thank you for asking that question we're really excited about this because this is a, a chunk of land that we've been seeing our mineralization uh, head toward that we have not drilled on because we realize it's on an, another claim group, which is was owned by a major, mm -hmm. and um, we don't want to get them excited about drill results if it's on close to their um, border. And we've been trying to get this this land package from them for several years now, and we were lucky enough to we study when people file with the BLM of their claims every year, and we know that they chose not to re file those mm. um, and we went out and we could stake them so it was organically done it only cost us about eighteen thousand dollars to stake all this land that we need and what it also has room for it's got some flat area that we can build heap leach pads so we're really always thinking about the future of building it and how much more mineralization is heading on to those claims. So it's really exciting. So what would be some of the catalysts you would say for LaHunt and Gold in the coming months? Yeah, so we just um, finished with our team that did the fall um, studies for the environmental report we need for the um, plan of operation. We'll be coming out with a PR about that. Um, Q1, really the, the winter months or holiday months we focus on the ground and less uh, press releases because I think a lot of people are focusing on holiday time, family time. Um, but the, the beginning of next year we'll be talking about a permit at West Santa Fe to drill. Uh, we'll be talking about putting out a, a second study called a PEA um, that will start putting economics around the production side of the story. How much is it going to cost to build it? What does the production profile look like? It's a really important part of the document with um, focusing on that being available and published by the time we get our permit. So this time next year, we hope these are going to coincide together. Okay. Well, thank you so much for Great coming. Great to be back in the Great studio to have with you. you. <laughs> in the studio. We'll see you again either at the mine or back here. Absolutely. So, thanks, thanks for so having me. Really Star is a world leader in precision mapping solutions and is creating a digital world by leveraging the most modern GPS, cloud, and mobile technologies. And with me is the CEO Paige Tucker. Welcome. Great to have you here Thank at the you. New York Stock Exchange. So just give us an update on, on what's going on. It's been a few months since we've talked, so bring me up to date. Well, it's a pretty exciting time for us right now. We're transitioning from what we consider to be a development stage in the life cycle of the company and we're focused on being more sales centric. So 
The goal is, is client acquisition. Okay. And it looks like you have added some serious horsepower to your executive team. So bring me up to date on who you've brought on board and what they add to the company. Well, one of the executives we added is uh, Louis Succi. He's our new CTO. He was formerly the vice president of engineering at Akamai. So his expertise is scaling cloud and technology companies. In addition to that, we added Wayne Moore. Wayne is the uh, former managing partner, director, and founder of the M&A division for Goldman Sachs. And we added Wayne to our board. Okay. And then also you had a successful capital raise, three and a half million dollars over the summer, which is a notoriously hard time to raise money. It's been kind of an uncertain market as well. So congratulations. And what do you plan to do with that? Well, the use of proceeds, what we plan to do is focus on expanding sales and marketing team. We're hiring more salespeople. We're looking at expanding into other parts of the world. We're working with equipment manufacturers to be a distribution channel for us. We actually just signed a worldwide distribution deal with one of the leading manufacturers in the world that manufactures the utility locating equipment. And we're looking to add uh, more distribution channels as well. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the uh, construction industry and transforming them into the digital era. And going digital has proven in every industry to create tremendous amount of efficiencies, cost savings, and in this case, we're addressing a serious problem, which is uh, public safety and also environmental concerns. Yeah, and there's a lot of in infrastructure issues globally, so good time to be in this space. So Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's an exciting time for us. Paige, thank you so much. Congratulations on the capital raise and look forward to the next update. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis can be difficult to treat and debilitating for an animal's health and well-being. Take control of lameness issues and joint pain. Introducing Spring with OsteoCushion technology. With just one injection, Spring with OsteoCushion technology targets the root cause of lameness issues, joint pain, and osteoarthritis, helping animals do what they do best. Stefano Caselli is a Dean of SDA Bocconi School of Management and is a professor of banking and finance at Bocconi University in Milan, Italy. And also Jean Maria, founder and CEO of U Capital, a fintech group of companies, also Italian. And um, welcome, it's great to have you here. Thank so, you. Um, Stefano, let's start with you. There's an international business conference in New York. Explain your role there and what will be discussed at this conference. Uh, it is a, a, a great moment tomorrow because the concept, let me say, is to discuss about the bridge. We need to bridge more and more European economy towards the U.S. system and also the country. I believe that in this bridge there are a lot of opportunities as we live in a world where to sustain and to announce the growth of GDP is the mantra, let me say, on the two sides of the ocean. For U.S., in a certain sense, it is the destiny of U.S. to grow. On the other way around, in Europe, it's fundamental to consolidate this issue of growth, not only because we are exiting from the pandemic and we are obviously navigating into, let me say, a complex system, but also because the GDP is really the way to generate more wealth, more innovation, more employment, so key aspects. Do you feel like these new technologies like AI, blockchain, fintech, things like that. Can that help this? Can that help that process, that bridging? Yeah, uh, actually our vision, our mission from the beginning was to create, um, you know, I think that uh, the social media, they are not competitor now, you know, so uh, you, we are on uh, all social media platform, you know, and uh, Capital 24 is a, a new social media for business people like LinkedIn, but uh, with uh, all uh, fintech solution, so they are focused on the job industry and we are focused on the finance and economy. And um, in that case, uh, we are making a new uh, AI system uh, for financial market, but also for capital markets. Uh, and actually is a, a service like Bloomberg, but for everyone. So our goal is to mix 
you know, the communication channel with the social media, with uh, all fintech solution for any kind of traders, companies and investors, exactly like Bloomberg offered this service to the institutional investors. But now, um, I would like just to make another vision that I have. And um, the world is changing, everything is changing. Until now, there, there, was, there, there were just two field, different field for different kind of players, big players and uh, small players. Now, in this new world, uh, there is just one field with the same weapon. So this is a big opportunity for uh, all small players that could uh, grow up very, very fast. But they need a weapon. We provide uh, all kind of solution that uh, they need to compete on the market. 90 companies are great, but we need to have more companies in the list of top 500. And uh, we have the possibility, but we need a capital. We need more attention. We need, as I said before, to create the right bridge between the United States and the European playground to generate more IRR for investors and more size for top companies in Europe. Well, thank you so much, Stefano, for explaining that. It's very interesting, and thank you as well, Jean-Marie, for coming in. Thank you. Raised in Beijing, China, Ho Tian is a self-taught oil painter for over 12 years. While pursuing a graduate degree in New York State, she answered a lifelong calling of becoming a professional visual artist. And with me is Hope Tian. Great to have you back. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. So let's start with um, the idea or, of, or concept. Where does that come from when you create your art? Uh, I would say from all the five senses what I see through my eyes, uh, the music I listen to, uh, many, many true touching stories happen each day for us to share. In the autumn sunlight uh, warms my back and the morning breeze caresses my skin. Also, sometimes beyond the five senses, uh, the images, the multicolored clouds mm -hmm. floating in my head when I close my eyes, meditating mm -hmm. or reflecting on something that is uh, meaningful for me. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think from my heart and my mind, I am I'm easily to moved by, by the little things uh, in life, like a bird flying along, uh, in the woods, uh, at sunset, uh, feeble but enduring, uh, spike of senior walking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am a sensitive person. Yeah. <laughs> I guess my sensitivities come from uh, appreciation, my uh, passion for just about each moment in my conscious life. Mm. And um, those words when I created come from my, my heart. As time goes on, as getting older, I realize I fully embrace uh, painting not only to express my feelings, my emotions, but also to express uh, my point of view, perspective, or confusions on certain a phenomena in today's mm -hmm. society, and those are from my my mind. Yeah. It seems like you have to have real p inner peace to be able to to notice some of these things, to notice a bird or the wind. You're not, you know, you're not so busy. You've got this kind of, you know, inner uh, peace about you that you're able to detect these things. Yeah. yeah. Now, how does that image then, and the inspiration that you get then, what is the process of putting it on an oil painting? Every, each artist uh, has all his own um, 
you know, the unique way to create art. My process always begins with inspiration. And sometimes the inspiration, the power of the inspiration is so strong and can turn into a very, very emotional impulse. When this happens, uh, I can't think about uh, sketching first. I just, uh, you know, grab a, a brush, uh, squeeze uh, the pens out of the tubes, and uh, just let my emotion, my primitive uh, passion, mm -hmm. my instinct take a lead, and just let inside of me out, just paint without thinking. Mm -hmm. And those types of uh, uh, paintings I create are like, are like uh, wildflowers. Another uh, type of creation is uh, when I'm inspired and, uh, you know, sometimes uh, the idea, I got the immediate idea to uh, how to paint or what to paint, but sometimes it takes me days to think back and forth mm -hmm. how to depict the idea or concept on a canvas. Whether the spark was immediate or relatively delayed, uh, sketching is always the first step mm -hmm. for me. Sketching on my sketchbook, or most of the time directly on a canvas. So sketching involves, somehow involves designing and planning for the whole picture, for the entire painting. So it's, it's like, um, you know, selecting, also selecting the colors is kind of like a rational process. The process of balancing the volume, the tone and uh, composition for the entire painting. Mm -hmm. It is it's like growing a potted plant. You know, it requires uh, patience, requires techniques, skills, and uh, expressiveness care and uh, dedication. But no matter it is uh, a flower, wild flower type or a potted plant type, they must be authentic. Mm -hmm. They must come out of a genuine attempt. I believe true art can only come out of a genuine attempt. How, where can somebody see your paintings or follow you on social media? Oh, it can be on my website. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, I post most of the time, I post my painting on LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Hope, for coming oh, and explaining you. the process. Very interesting. Oh, nice. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>
let's say by the mailing list and they have the best of intention they want to mail you some offer for you to buy some sweater or something that database from the store or from that marketing website or what have you is not secure so hackers go to everyone not just the big provider but basically whoever buys that email whoever uses that data for marketing uh, can also be compromised and this is exactly what happened to that 23andme company there's actually a couple article because the hackers have a ton of info and they're releasing more and more and more info for sale that's why we always say reduce your social media footprint that's the first thing you should do and also if you um i mean it's hard to protect on that but you know obviously we try to tell people uh, for important emails don't use those services and those emails that you can throw away anytime and they're free and they're from uh, the companies that data mine you because they make more money in advertising essentially than selling you the service Right. So as a security expert, what should they have done as a business? Because you offer solutions for big businesses just like them. Yeah. So there's no foolproof solution. But as a user, uh, you should already do so many things that we discuss every week on our program. We can't get into it now. One of them is don't store your credit card on a website. But, you know, that's just one. As a big business or a small business, you want to make sure that you don't have any uh, leaks in your security. You want to vet the vendor. You want to have audit, internal audits of your security. But most importantly, I think a lot of these emails were from the two, three providers that are out there, the duopoly, I'm going to call them. And if you use that to write information about your banking, medical, or anything, if you use that email to email anyone with sensitive information even a medical record financial legal that will be data mined and then you become valuable and these hackers never let you go they're going to keep data mining and reading all the email communication or messaging application that's another one somebody today told me that somebody is just trying to video call them out of the blue on one of the two most famous messaging app that we can't mention here and that's another thing that we prevent all of these intrusions by with secure mail and secure messenger. Well, and, and these are great solutions that anyone can start incorporating today, especially your recent launch of the VPN. So tell us why a VPN is important and how easy it is to get. Yeah, that's another good thing. If you use a VPN like secure VPN, which is as far as we know, the, the, the only true privacy, highly encrypted VPN out of Switzerland, it basically protects your IP address from these hackers. And in Switzerland, our laws dictate that the IP address, the, the internet protocol address, basically your internet address, your, your footprint is part of your private property. So we can't sell that, we can't exploit it. It's the only law in the globe that has that in Switzerland. So we obey by the Swiss Federal Data Protection Act. And if you use our secure VPN, at the very least, you're not going to be visible to these hackers in the US. You're going to be in Switzerland. The other thing that we do, whether you buy our, our mail or messenger or VPN, we never require your phone number. So already you can't be identified. They don't even know that you're using our solution. That helps you. You know, there's no hundred percent foolproof but if you can limit and reduce your footprint and you can be in a stealth mode uh, from these hackers that's what you want to do and it's okay to sign up but when you're going to transfer uh, information about your DNA maybe you're going to send it to a medical doctor that's exactly why so let's say 23andMe was totally fine and they secured everything. When you send that information to a doctor or a friend for fun, you don't want to use a regular email. You want to use secure mail with our secure send, secure reply feature, which will render everything invisible because the entire transaction happens only in Switzerland. And we're, we're a company that you can send an email to someone that doesn't have secure and they can click connect to our server in Switzerland instantly 
and that whole exchange of information is only in Switzerland. It doesn't fly over the internet. Because I think what happened, as I'm thinking about it, a lot of people emailed that info. They got excited. And sometimes they have medical issues. So they need to send that to their doctors. And these hackers are exploiting that weak link and then getting everything from you. It, I would say it's well worth paying us the seven or 10 bucks a month and have at least that privacy that the other companies obviously have a hard time to, to, to provide to you. Absolutely, great point. And that's the takeaway, stealth mode, as well as what is your privacy worth? And this is, again, always enlightening when we speak to you, simple steps that we can take to make sure that our privacy is intact and we retain it. So uh, for those interested in your services, you have a promo code, don't you? Yes, so before I give it out, I wanna to mention to our, uh, our, our audience that we have a new episode every week. I was in Florida doing a road show. Somebody saw us on TV and you know they thought it was the same episode every week. So I said, no, every week we have new tips to protect everyone. So please tune in every week because, you know, we have new content every week. So the promo code is privacy. That's easy enough to understand and to remember. And you get 15% off our, all our solutions for, for five years. So privacy is the promo code. You put it in. I should add that if you buy our VPN, we offer a 30-day free trial now. So, you know, you're not going to lose much. And if you buy yearly, you're only paying for 11 months out of 12. So you're already getting kind of 10, uh, 10 months you pay and you get two months for free if you buy yearly. If you buy monthly, you can cancel any time before the next cycle star starts. Perfect. There you go. Privacy has arrived with Secure. And every week we've got a new weekly hack, different topics, but constant solutions coming from you. Always great speaking with you, Elaine. Thanks, Anna, and thanks, everyone, for watching. And be extremely careful out there as we approach the holidays. Watch your footprint on the Internet. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for watching.